hello and welcome back to my channel uh, i'm rakhi and today we are going to paint um an elephant with two baby elephants i have done a elephant painting in past uh, so this is what i have done earlier uh, this was on a much bigger size and i think i just did i did this two years back so we are going to use a different uh, shade of grey today um, but we are going to paint a small study of an elephant with two uh, elephant calves so we are not going to use too many colors uh, we are going to use a grey color which I have mixed with permanent red and uh, viridian green viridian this is going to be the main color and with that we are going to use some burn uh, some ochre yellow for the highlights as we see in the reference photo so this is here i have mixed uh, my colors on my palette so this is a uh, viridian green this is permanent red and i have mixed some gray here and also i'm going to use some of the uh, yellow ochre for the highlights i think i will be using only these two colors today I'm going to use two brushes or three brushes today. I'm going to use a number six brush, uh, a number six round. This is from Princeton. You can take any soft uh, bristle brush you have. I'm going to use a number zero uh, liner brush for the details. And also I'm going to use a number two brush. Um, this is a local brand we find in India. This is Camlin, I think. And I'm going to use this number two brush. Other than that, I'm not going to use any other brushes. So we will start with uh, some of the very thin gray mix. We are going to give a background on all the three elephants. And then we'll go from there. So what I have done here, I have already mixed a very thin mix of uh, ochre yellow. So I'm going to paint some of the highlights which we see in the reference image with that. So I'm, I'm not wetting the body of the elephant today i'm i'm just painting a wet on dry style today so i have given a little bit of yellow ochre wash here and i'm just going to i'm just going to soften the edges here and these edges uh, we will try to retain till the end of the painting because these highlights are very important to be retained. Also, as you see in the reference image, there is some grass in the bottom. So we are going to paint the grass on top uh, later with everything else. For now, I'm just painting some of the highlights. One useful tip is to keep looking at your reference image often so that you are not missing out on any interesting details you have. I generally do not paint uh, wet and dry but I just wanted to try it out today. I'm just softening the edges of the color which I have put already. And it is okay if you have put more of your lighter color because it is always easy to go back and uh, paint some dark color over it and then reduce the strength of the light color. I 
I'm also going to give a little bit of under wash of yellow here on the scarf. As you see, there are not much highlights on the second car, which is in front, because his whole body back, I think, is on towards the light. So I have given a bit of. So I'm going to switch um, to my number six brush here, and we will start with the very light gray wash. I have thinned it out. Uh, the reason because I'm not doing a wet on wet here is because this area is very small and we we really need to capture the details. If I do wet on wet first, uh, then I won't have, I will have too much water on the paper. So the first layer is done. I'm going to give some um, before we switch to a smaller brush. I want to give some little bit of color in the background. I'm going to use the same marker yellow. In the background and just wet in the background a little bit so this has dried up um, so let's start giving the next layer of details I'm going to start from here So we are going to repeat the same process. We are painting some grays and then we are going to soften it with some water. And make sure there is not too much water here as uh, you will get some watercolor blooms. I think this is done here. I'm going to move to the next part.
and as you must be already knowing uh, the watercolor dries uh, much lighter as you are doing now so be sure to put little bit more darker paint as you wish to So as you see here why the shadows are important as as soon as we uh, did some of the uh, negative painting here the ear of the smaller elephant calf becomes more prominent so that's why painting the shadows or the darker area is so important so we'll leave it like this we will wait it to dry and then we'll move to the face part so I have varied my gray color now I have made it more towards the red I just wanted to bring some variation I think we do not need to do any more shadows. And we are good. So I'm going to leave it here for now and then we'll come back and then we will do some of the structuring of this ear here we have got some nice uh, texture here we will develop those into the ear and also we are going to give some more dark color here we are going to develop this we are going to work more on this elephant also we are going to do the same thing with the ears here we are going to develop some of the folds in the ear here we will give some more highlights on all the elephants uh, probably we'll do that with a, first with a thin wash and then we will give some more highlights with a darker wash on the ears of these elephants so I'm going to paint it the same way I'm going to put some color and then we are going to Merge that. And now we will just paint the eyes, paint some more grass and then paint some details, some more dark lines and then we are done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix a very dark uh, mix and then I'm going to keep the details 
with a zero number liner brush uh, you can also use colored markers or colored liners if you have you can use that as well and I did not want to use a black here so I'm going to use this one and then we'll see later if you want to put some more details I'm going to speed this part up and then we'll, we'll come back and see what else we want to put some more details with. I'm just going to take some yellow ochre and I'm going to I'm going to splatter some I'm going to splatter some of it here I just want to show some grass where they are standing I'm just put, pulling some some grass so I just put some yellow ochre grass underneath and, and then I have soften that grass with some water and this is how it looks now I did not put too much details into it um, because I wanted to keep it easy and simple you can also put some white highlights with a white liner I've just kept it simple so I think this is it for today and uh, let me know if you want me to paint some other animals or birds uh, put it in the comments or if you try this tutorial let me know or if you have any questions please put those questions in the comments and I'll try to answer those so uh, till next time I think we are good here thank you